guys and welcome back to the Sunday Review. So this week I want to talk about the final season of Prison Break. Because most of you by now should know and may have seen that it finished in America last week and it finished in the UK this week I think. Either way, um, <coughs> Prison Break is over. Sorry about that guys. Uh, and there is no talks there is no talks I'm doing another series uh, when they brought it back they was told they could bring it back if they could wrap everything up that they wanted to do in nine episodes hinting that they would only do it if they could do it for one more series uh, which they have done now I'm just going to go back to the normal series of Prison Break, the first four series I think it was, yeah, first four series. Now, that had a fantastic end on it, right up until they did the final break. Now, if they hadn't have done the final break, it would have been absolutely amazing, but they had to do that for some stupid reason, and I think that ruined everything. I don't know why they did it, I didn't like it, if you kind of ignore the final break and just look at prison break from one to four without that it was fantastic uh, but then they did the final break ruined everything completely cocked everything up Michael's dead uh, there was no way of getting out of that one really he kind of blew up in a massive explosion uh, and yeah the kind of everything that they'd done all the hard work that they got off with for ages they then ruined it all uh, and buggered it up left Michael Jr without a father Sarah without a husband Link without a brother you know it just kind of he shat all over everything really did that last episode so then so then they brought Prison Break back and we find out that Michael's not actually dead and somehow he's wound up in Yemen in a prison in Yemen uh, T-Bag gets released by some anonymous person gets released from prison uh, with a note with a picture of Schofield in this prison in Yemen which then he takes to Link, Link takes it to Sarah, Sarah doesn't believe him, Link and uh, Franklin both go off to go find Schofield and they do, he denies who they are he's kind of running some sort of game in prison you don't really find out what's going on and eventually you do find out what's going on and it's kind of like he that whole episode where Sarah got arrested and they had to break her out and then he exploded and died and all that uh, that was all set up because before then, before they got married, it was getting called by this guy that wanted him to join him, and then uh, Michael kept refusing him. So they kind of said, "Well, we can actually do anything." Got Sarah arrested and all that sort of crap, which kind of ties in that shite episode that they had, and it kind of explained that. It it also explained why Michael's not dead because they had to fake his own death, uh, and then there was a lot of other stuff going on. That they had to kind of fake to make Michael look bad. He got into this prison so he could break someone out. But then Michael's getting stitched up and screwed. So then he's turned on them. And then he's trying to break out more people from this other prison that he's got his friends in there. Which, again, it's a weird one. Uh, because it's just like that first time we broke everyone out. We broke out a bunch of people they didn't really want to break out. Uh... Yeah, I wasn't quite sure where it was going at the start. And from what I was told, this series was supposed to be kind of like season one. It's supposed to be action all the way through. It's supposed to keep you interested all the way through. And I was kind of thinking, well, where is this going then? This is nowhere near as good as season one. It's kind of boring. Uh, I hope it kind of picks up soon. And it... He followed this whole storyline of Michael trying to get home because the person that Sarah had then gone and married afterwards was the guy that Michael's been working with this whole time. 
and they were just trying to keep Sarah nearby, all this sort of crap. Uh, so, there was a lot going on there. Uh, so then he has to come home before they find out so their son doesn't die and so Sarah doesn't die and so lots of other stuff doesn't kick off and happen. Uh, so they had to do all of that. Um, <sighs> sorry guys. Uh, but it was nice for him to kind of bring it all back in at the end. And for the guy that... Uh, the only one that survived when they broke out of prison in uh, Yemen and got back to the UK it was nice to find out that he was actually Teabag's son uh, oh yeah by the way spoiler alerts guys because then from there in this final episode Teabag's son uh, after they finally get together and meet uh, nice lovey lovey Killing people is bad unless they deserve it. Good on you there, teabag. Well done. Bravo. Uh, so, yeah, they'd done all that. Got them all back together. And Michael had then said, well, there's only one person that can go kill this guy. And teabag was agreeing because uh, teabag's the only person that can do it. He's killed before. Michael isn't a killer. He doesn't want his son to start killing either. So... It was kind of the only way to do that, I suppose. <sighs> so, guys, I had practically no sleep last night, so I'm very tired. Uh, but, yeah, so with all that going on, it was kind of a nice way to bring that together. I was a little disappointed when there was this big shootout at the end, and... Uh, Teabag's son ended up getting shot and died but that kind of made this final scene a lot more crucial really because then you've got Michael battling it out with this Poseidon guy uh, which that comes to a really really nice head where Michael then gets himself arrested as well uh, but the guy that Poseidon was working with kind of gave all the information that Michael was saying as well to back him up which meant he was actually a free man, he was clear, he could go live his life with his family and his son, which is nice after being away for seven years. Uh, and yeah, the, I mean, it was a, a kind of a good way to tie it off after they buggered it up the first time. And from to end up in Yemen and there was all this other shit going off that I didn't quite like, the ending made up for all of that. So... I suppose with all that going off, you've got like the whole family thing that's back together, which I really liked. But I was really, really disappointed that uh, Teabag wound up in prison because he'd killed uh, that female assassin, whatever, that was working with Poseidon. Uh, so he killed her, wound up in prison. And then Poseidon wound up in prison, and who was his cellmate? None other than Teabag himself, which Teabag then went and killed him, and I suppose he was in prison again. Which uh, is really disappointing because I, Teabag is by far my favourite character, and from to go through all that, he'd found his inner peace. He was a new man. It was it was amazing for him to come full circle, and he was a good guy at that point but then because of Schofield he had to go out and kill someone else and he got him sent straight back to prison now I know Schofield was that anonymous guy that paid him off to get out of prison that paid him out uh, so it, it just is it, it was really disappointing to see Teabag end up in prison again It'd have been nice if they'd have done it the way I thought they was going to go down it. And Teabag got released from prison. I mean, in fact, let me just backtrack a little bit. Because uh, there was the part where they goes, Michael, you're a free man. If there was anything else I could do for you, uh, let me know. And Michael went, well, there is one thing. And I was like, yes, come on, he's going to pull Teabag out of prison and it's going to be fantastic. Uh, T-Bag's going to become a new man, he's going to be free, it's going to be good. 
and then it turns out what this all was was the one thing he could do was put him in a cell with T-Bag so T-Bag's killed again whilst he's in prison which will extend his sentence which means he's going to be in there pretty much for the rest of his life <sighs> why do it? you would just shown that T-Bag was a good guy you would just proven he was a good guy so why do that to him? there's better ways to do it I think you should have one more series so Schofield can break T-Bag out I think anyway but other than that the ending to the series I think was uh, pretty good it tied everything off nicely answered all the questions that you had it was a it was a good way to do it <sighs> Again, saw it, uh, but if they'd have just had T-Bag as a free man, I'd have been happy. If they'd have shown more of Sucre, I'd have been happier as well because they didn't really show much of Sucre in this series. Uh, but I suppose it was a good way to have Sucre in it while still having him be a good guy. Uh, yeah, and they showed a lot of Franklin as well, which is quite strange. But I suppose. Franklin was still a good guy, he didn't do nothing wrong, so it kept him in a good light as well. So it was nice for him to bring back all his characters. Uh, it's just it's a shame without him putting T-Bag back in prison and without Sucre not having as much air... T if Sucre had, had more air time, that I'd think of improved things as well. Uh, but I suppose there's no real way for him to have done it. Uh, so, with that being said, I want to give this a rating, Neil. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. I've never give, not given something a rating for a while before because normally I've been reviewing stuff like trailers, stuff that's not actually out yet. Uh, so this I can actually give it a proper rating. And I'll have to give it... Uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I, I wasn't that fussed about the start of the series but it did tie off all the loose ends that we had, it tied off all the storyline issues that we had so with it all been tied off so nicely it kind of raises it a little bit more for me and the only drop down is because of kind of the tea bag side of it and the sucre stuff and that because it didn't quite fill those needs that I needed it, they didn't have as much tea bag as I wanted uh, because of that I've got to rate it down to an 8 but then I've got to rate it up due to the tying off of the series so yeah if I know that's sod that eight and a half just because I really want to be that guy <laughs> so yeah that is my thoughts on uh, the latest season season five of Prison Break let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys later Bye for now. Bye.